Hey there, knitters. It's Leslie here with YYC Knits. Um, I just wanted to come on today and show you how I worked a Turkish cast on for my next sock project. I just finished knitting the mock cable socks from the toe up socks two at a time by Wendy D. Johnson. And I absolutely love that book. I'd like to knit every single pair of socks that are in it because they're just absolutely beautiful and her photos are amazing as well. Um, so my next set of socks is the diagonal lace socks which I thought were so beautiful and when I saw the picture in the book it reminded me of this one of my favorite colorways that um, I dye up and this can be found on our website yycnets.com so I dyed up this beautiful golden uh, wheat color and we're actually going to do a contest on the next podcast uh, that I do with Knit Nix, and she's at Knit Nix Podcast, that's K-N-I-T dash N-I-X podcast on YouTube, and she can be found on Instagram as Carla Jean. So we're going to do a name that colorway, and this one will be one of them. So if you come up with some good names, uh, you'll have to post it in the comments of our next podcast. Um, so if you're watching this, it's November the... Let me just check. <laughs> November the 9th, 2016. And uh, there you go, in case you were wondering. So... In doing the Turkish cast on, um, it's a really nice cast on because it just looks like your knitting just continues around, which um, it does, and it's it's pretty easy to do. Um, in the past, I usually cast on two at a time, magic loop, and work them until I get to this point where I can um, put them on my nine inch circulars and work them simultaneously work on one for a little bit work on the other because I like to kind of um, have them going uh, close to the same um, place all at once so yeah I don't get second sock syndrome but I don't want to either so there we go um, yeah it's funny I kind of work like that when I'm working in the yard as well so what we're going to do is we're going to um, cast on our second sock and show you how we, how we do this awesome Turkish cast on for our toes. So we're going to take our second little ball. So that's the other thing when you're working uh, two at a time. I, before I've, I've done it where I take from, I pull from the outside and the inside, but all you end up with is a big tangled mess. So we don't need any frustration of that kind of sort, so we're just going to uh, keep it real simple and we'll keep one sock to one little ball and we'll keep uh, another cake um, for our second sock here. So we're just going to start by doing a slip knock, knot, sorry. and when I was watching a tutorial on this I kind of cringed because I hate putting knots in my knitting. But this slip knot, just so you know, is going to come off um, on our second round, so not to worry. We're going to slip it onto the top needle, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slide it down a little bit and hold it with our finger. And we're going to wrap the yarn around um, the needles like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap until we have half of the desired number of cast on stitches. So for instance, if I have to cast on 30 stitches, I'm going to wrap my yarn around 15 times. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And so we're not gonna, if you do get stuck, you don't count 
your slip knot as one, you count the full wraps around. So we've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we've got fifteen wraps around our needles. What we're going to do is just hold it with our finger and we're going to give them a turn 180 degrees around and we're going to pull out our bottom needle and this is our working thread so we want to we've got a little tail here on this side so we're going to pull this one out and we're going to slide this in and uh, go ahead and start knitting so we're going to try and just hold that first stitch a little bit taut until we get a few and then just keep our tension throughout. So we're just knitting across the top needle. I would have liked to do my nails for this video, but yeah, that just wasn't going to happen today. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. All right. So we've knit right up until the last one. Our needle is coming out. And what we're just going to do is turn this again, 180 degrees. And we're going to just hold the tip of that working needle and we're going to pull, um, Pull the second or the top needle. All right, a little bit fidgety, and we're just gonna push it so that it's in. All right. So we've got both of our needles um, together again. And as you can see, our first stitch is that slip knot. So we're just gonna pull our bottom needle out, pull it long. And instead of going into that slip knot to knit, we're just gonna slip that off. So that's what I, I think I mentioned before, I hate to put knots in my knitting. Um, but there it goes, it's gone now, so yay. All right, so we're just gonna grab our working yarn again and we're gonna cinch up that first stitch nice and tight and then just continue knitting across again. I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog is snoring in the background. We have a little French bulldog and they tend to be little snoring little guys. He's found the doggy death ray of sun. It's a gorgeous day here in Calgary, Alberta today. The temperature is probably close to 18 or 20 degrees and it is November the 9th, which is just um, unheard of. So, okay, so we're back. I'll just show you my little guy here. He's so funny. He likes to lay in the sun. They call it the doggy death ray. So there he is, that's Buster. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I've just uh, turned it 180 degrees again and we're just gonna slide both of our needles so that they're um, parallel to each other again. And we're gonna slide our bottom needle out and we are going to start one more round of knitting. Okay. 
So I dyed this yarn a couple days ago, and when I saw the pictures of the of the sock in, in the magazine, I immediately thought, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to dye up my favorite color of all time. This color is just so bright and sunny, and it's really similar to the color in Wendy's book. So, yeah. So we'll knit across that top needle, and then again, we're gonna give it a 180 degree turn, and uh, we're going to slide the top cable back in. So we're actually, if you have never done this before, we are actually magic looping here. So who knew you, you're now a magic looper if you're following along with me. So congratulations. So here we have it, the beginning of our toe on our sock. Um, we have to knit one more round here uh, to make it even. One, two, three, four, yeah. All right. So we're just continuing to knit across. And we're going to turn our work. All right, so at this point um, in our toe, we've got uh, two rows. We will start doing our make ones on each side until we have got a certain amount of stitches on our needle. So um, what I've done is I've done a make one right on one side and a make one left on the other. And then again, when I turn my sock and I knit the back side, I do a make one right. So you can see that these are all right leaning increases. They lean to the right. And then again, on the other side, I'm doing a make one left. And again, all of my increases lean to the left. So it doesn't really matter um, which way you do it as long as whatever you decide, you stay the same. So you can do a make one left, make one right, make one left, make one right. Um, however you, you decide, just make sure that they're, they're all the same and then you'll get a nice neat um, toe on your sock. So what I've done is... I've done the make one right, make one left. So I'll just show you a couple rounds of how I do my increases. The book, um, the pattern for these diagonal lace socks just says um, make one.